greetings from New Zealand. Uh, this is my sister, special guest, Denise. Um, um, yeah, episode eight. Let's get into it, shall we? Are you gonna help me commentate? No. No, why not? All right. Sorry. Let's get into it. So, two episodes to get through because of our break in New Zealand. Sorry about that. Last week, episode eight, don't get cocky, kid. Now, Juliet is all sooky over the loss of her boyfriend, Romeo. So that's a thing. Carson is throwing up all over the place and is at risk of being the third tribe mate to be medevaced out. Uh, leaves them at a disadvantage going into the immunity challenge where everyone is buddied up and these are the partners. Carson is with Carolyn and they end up um, getting out first but then it comes down to a four-way battle between these four uh, in quite a grueling final round. It's Kane who's out first, followed by Brendan, then Danny farts before tapping out, and then it's Lauren taking the immunity necklace back to camp. So back at camp, Jamie has got a target on her back because it's the Ratu plan. However, Heidi spills the beans about Danny's idol intended for Franny, uh, which she's going to use for Franny to get Brandon out. There's no such thing as a secret in this camp, is there? So, but that actually works out very well. Danny does indeed play as idol for Franny, and with just three votes, uh, Brandon gets voted out, and Andrew unfortunately joins Shane on Exile Island. Then. There's this week's episode uh, under the wing of a dragon, a uh, phrase spake by the great philosopher Danny. Now, just to clarify, near the start of the episode, Danny does actually say it's an even playing field with three players from each tribe, which is actually true. However, when we made our side bets a couple of weeks ago about which tribe was going to be the first totally out, that bet was actually placed on the restructured tribe dyna dynamic. So we'll actually get to that in a minute. But what Danny actually said was true because it's original tribe mates there. At camp, Jamie is still very giddy, believing that she has a legitimate idol. She doesn't. It's a fake. And Jam Jam is giddy from believing he's the assassin of anyone who's voted against him. He's got someone in his sights. And we'll get to that. There is a mad scramble for an idol. Because, of course, Danny's used his last one, fair to assume, it's going to come back into play. Guess who finds it? It's Heidi, which would have made Liam very, very happy. There's a beautiful, nice life story uh, of acceptance from Carolyn, which was real nice. Uh, and also a lovely moment of Jam Jam and Carolyn climbing the rock that Matt caused his injury on, but they took a decidedly safer path to the top. Then we get into the immunity challenge. It's a torturous balance challenge. It's hammering it down with rain. Carson is still very weak. And Jeff throws out the uh, the bargain of if four people sit out, then there'll be lots of lovely rice waiting for them back at camp. So Carson, Heidi, Kane and Lauren decide to sit out. There's rice waiting for them. And ultimately, it's Franny that wins her second immunity idol. Um, uh, her first immunity necklace for the season. So back at camp, there's a plan to split the votes between Danny and Heidi. And Jamie gives her fake immunity idol to Kane, who also believes it's the real deal. Um, there's a Then as we go into Tribal Council, there's a real nice edit with the Dragon Snuffer blended into the overall overhead view of the council grounds. It's real nice when we come out of the commercial break. Uh, nice bit of editing there, I love that. So then the no vote deal that some of them made at the immunity challenge to not vote the people out who uh, took rice, uh, that was exposed as being lip service. And then there's a last minute scramble. Lauren uses her bank your vote advantage, which she's had for a while, and she doubles down on Kane, and then the votes are Kane, Heidi, Jamie, Kane, Heidi, Danny, Kane, Heidi, Kane. Kane is out, and Mr. Indestructible Liam takes his first hit, which leaves Shikara 
as the only one of us left standing with both her players. So let's get to that, shall we? Because it's time for another side bet. Who will be the next to lose their players? Now this again is going to be a secret bet. There are six of us who have got one player still in the game. And if you think that Amanda, Rob, Denise, Kirby, Liam or myself will be the next one to lose our, tri uh, our tribe mates, then you'll stand to win $10 or a share thereof. However, if you think Shikara with her two players and her two advantages in the game, she's going to be unlucky and she'll lose both of her players, then you'll double your winnings to $20. And if the actual uh, next person to lose our players is one of the $10 mob, then the remaining $10 for this bet will go on to the second place jackpot. So that's it. A lot there. Um, we're coming to the end game now. There is still one side bet to go after this episode. Uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.